For a little wisdom here for a B pow X B to the P to the O to the W picks. B pow picks. People think I'm saying pow. My Canadian accent or what? I got free picks for you. I said I was gonna do this. I'm not gonna have time to do this every day, but I have there's three games on the card today. I'm gonna give it a shot. Give you sides and totals. This is going to be coming out probably right around game time or close to maybe an hour before game time. If you would like these picks sooner, just go to the link in the comment section, hit it, get yourself a free week, and check out what BPAL Picks does. Up 630 units since the beginning of last year. Yes, 630. Green. Up. So let's look at today's picks for Halloween. It's the Halloween. We go watch the kids. We just go around looking at kids. And like, I think we're going to get candy this year and we're going to pass it out to them too. Passing out kids. Out, you know. All right. Let's look at the thing today from Odd Shark. Here we go. This is our, this is what we got today. Detroit, Buffalo. I am humming and hawing over this freaking game. Nadelkovic in for Detroit. I, I can't stand him. The guy is just no good. I got to take Buffalo here. I have to. I don't know what's preventing me from doing it, to tell you the honest truth. Um, I think it's because... I think it's because I got my butt kicked on the weekend, to tell you the honest truth. I think that's all it is. <laughs> I just got my butt kicked on the weekend, and I'm like a little shaky on it. But I can't take the I can't take Detroit when Nadelkovich is in that in that. That's for sure. Buffalo, I still haven't figured out Comrie yet. He was good in Winnipeg. He's had really good games. And then he's kind of looked shaky at times as well. Matchup wise, they're about even. Let's see, uh, about even. I want to take the over, but Detroit hasn't really been putting scoring lots on the road. And even against their last game against uh, Minnesota. Minnesota had Gustafson in net, and they could only pot two on 30-some shots. Uh, four and two. Detroit's not on a terrible spot. Buffalo's on a pretty good spot. Second game of the road trip. I'm almost leaning Buffalo team total over three and a half. They come out flying. I have more faith that they can get team total over three and a half. Because Samuelson and Samuelson's out on defense for Buffalo. And that concerns me. That does concern me. He is a huge part of their defense. And let's see what their defense looks like here. They're going to have Pilutin, Pilot, Pilut, I think that's how you say it. Casey Fitzgerald, Kale Clegg, Owen Power. They're not used to playing with each other. Maybe I just got to go the over here. Maybe I just, for so I don't have faith that Detroit can score enough on the road. Uh, Lucas Raymond did pot a couple last, got the two goals in the Minnesota game. Um, kind of what I thought, Andrew Kopp isn't putting up the offense you like. So there's not much offense in the bottom here. Giovanni Smith, LaFalino, like Zadina. I think I just, I got to take Buffalo. I got to take Buffalo. So I'm going to take Buffalo probably money line. 
maybe over three and a half because Nedeljkovic is freaking ass. He's just ass. He's terrible. He's terrible. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Done. Kind of lean the over, but like I said, I'm not sure Detroit can get the offense on the road. Yeah, they haven't been putting up a lot of offense on the road. Next one, Carolina versus – and this is a tough game too because – oh, come on. A lot of people are going to be on Carolina here, but they're in three games in four nights. They're playing three games in four nights. And uh, I never like taking teams playing three games, four nights in any circumstance. Washington is on their fourth game on the road, but it was like really staggered on the road. Now, they last game, Washington played Nashville. They beat them. But honestly, Nashville didn't look like they were. They were doing. Nashville didn't look right. They still haven't looked right really much all year. And Carolina hasn't looked right all much all year either. They they've been having bobbles against the Islander in the in the Islander game in the Philadelphia game. They just eked it out, but they did start looking like the Carolina that we know and love. So the question is, is that where we're going to get here? Um, from what I understand. Are we going to get the Carolina we know and love tonight? On three games and four nights. How up are they going to be for this game? They just, and it was overtime against Philadelphia. They come home. They got a day off. You get a little bit of rest. Take care of some stuff. Then back on it again. I, I really think they want this win because they, they don't have the greatest record right now. I really think they want this win. Um, Washington got their crap together against Nashville a little bit. But it's a whole different animal to do that against Carolina. Even again, even with three days, three games and four nights. Connor McMichael is moving up the depth chart with Kuznetsov and Marcus Johansson. Like that doesn't scream. And Kuznetsov hasn't even been very good. That doesn't scream uh, offense there, does it? Ovechkin, Strom, Shuri. Maybe the maybe it's the under. Maybe that's the play here. Carolina's legs are going to get, uh, you know, a little bit. Carolina's legs are going to get a little bit heavy as the game goes on. They've been having trouble with bobbles and stuff like that. I imagine they're going to want to clean that up now. Like, Vrindamore is not going to let two games in a row. They just haven't looked themselves at all. I, I think they, they don't. Maybe the under is the play here. But I think historically this is played to the over. See how see what us cappers have to go through? As we think about every little thing. You know, most people would say, oh, it's Carolina. They're going to win because it's Carolina. But three games in four nights is hard, man. It's very hard. Even with the depleted Washington lineup. And, it, and their record is not all that bad. It's five and four. Carolina is 4-1-1 one, one away from home. They're 1-1 one one at home. And most of their games have been on the road. And that's probably makes is the reason why they've had some difficulties with the puck. They're getting a little tired. Over under at home, over under away. Washington's actually played to the under quite a bit here. See, I, I'm doing this as I go. I think the under is the play here. Historically, 5-2 and two in their last. 
They're five and two in their last seven games, two straight up in their last seven games, and you think they're playing bad, Washington. See, five, the total has gone over five of Washington's last five games when playing on the road against Carolina. So how do you take, historically, they've always played to the over. The, the total has gone under in 11 of Carolina's 16 games. I think I'll just drop the total. I'm going to take Carolina money line. It's juicy. As you can tell, I'm struggling with this one. Maybe put it in a parlay. Something like that. Uh, I just don't like betting on teams that are on three games and four nights. doesn't matter which team X. All right, St. Louis versus Los Angeles. Um, St. Louis has just been ass the last two games. And uh, there were the, a couple players kind of just put out the riot act there last after last the loss to... Uh, oh, that's right. And there's a bad spot too. This, I just realized St. Louis is playing four games in six nights. People are all over St. Louis. They're playing four games in six nights. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. If this is four games in six nights, I can't take St. Louis. St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis. I just remembered that while I was doing this. One, two, three, four games and six nights. Oh, I don't like that. Quick is in net for LA. I don't like that. He Quick has been horrible. Horrible. I don't know what to do anymore. I was going to take St. Louis first period. And maybe I kind of like that still because they'll have enough legs to come out strong in the first period, but I think they're going to fade down the stretch. Four games in six nights. They're in Edmonton. They travel to Nashville, come back home again and play in Montreal. And now, okay, now they have, and they're still at home playing LA. And look at this. They've won two, three, four, six games in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That can't be right, can it? Five games in eight nights. Anyways, I got the over on this game. I think St. Louis is going to come out hot. This is... Quick as shit this year. He's just absolute shit. If they get 20 shots on him, they get three goals. I think LA is going to, I think LA might actually win this game now that I think about it because LA is pretty rested. Played home, played home against Winnipeg, played home against Toronto. Two more days later, they go on the road, play their first against St. Louis. I think LA may win this game. I, I had to do this video to come up with this. Because I did this video, I started to th rethink this. I, I think I just have to tell myself I don't like this card. Uh, I, I just don't see St. Louis having the legs here to do this. And I can't trust Quick on the side in a way, but... If anything, I think I'm now leaning L.A. I just think they have more legs. Have you seen L.A. come out in the first periods right now? They're freaking crazy. They come out humming. Humming. It's just a quick can stop the puck. So I'm sort of leaning L.A. And I'm going to stick with the over. Over six. Tomorrow will be a better card, I hope. Because this was not a good card. 
I think after all of that, I might advise you to just not bother. Just don't, don't bet. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy your bets if you make them. And I'll, I may or may not catch you tomorrow. That's my full 42K. Bye.